brave. These were my father's words. Be brave, and nothing will ever stand in your way. He told me the tales of the Guardians, the tales of our ancestors, and what once should become my tale. With Black Oak and Shield we are standing, our hammer to our right, to protect what we hold dear. Brave, and without fear in our hearts, the last one hundred's watch. And when the Talgrand fire burns, may our enemy's sword and shield shatter upon the face of the Guardians. May the Great Gates be sealed today and for eternity's time. The Guardian's Oath. I already knew it by heart, when I could even barely walk. Each night, before going to bed, my mother told me the tale that every Stonebeard has been told. The tale of Turin, the first Guardian, and how he has led us to victory in the great battle of Minas during the First Age when the blood of the innocent has flooded the lands. So that no such mischief will ever come upon us again! These were his words when he summoned the 100 strongest and bravest beards to constitute the guardians of the Great Gates. For would the Great Gates ever fall, they knew all would be lost. Thus, the 100 kept their watch through solstices and ages with every son of a guardian, being anxious to step in his father's and grandfather's shoes and prove himself worthy. Ready at any time to prove his courage, a guardian practices his whole life for the day that for three ages should not come since Turin's courage and wisdom not only united the Guardians in peace, but a warrior as a whole, and together they could withstand every threat, so our last line of defense could have never been crossed. Three ages in which only stories should father the terror that had set upon the lands, but stories could never herald the occurrences to happen that day. The Aturi have always been thirsting for war. Barely a day passes in Atur's guard without the mark-ripping screams of battle merged with the smell of fresh, warm blood. When there is no enemy, an Aturi knows no honor or morality and turns against his own kind. But something had changed. Rogash, chieftain of the Gorliku, the most blood-curdling of all Yuturian clans, attained what nobody else before him had achieved. He united all clans under his flag, convincing them to march north. Twenty-one clans, united in their indescribable greed for death and destruction, willing to raise everything and everyone standing in their way to the ground. Before the knowledge could reach us, they had already crossed the Spear Cove and climbed the Iron Mountains, leaving a path of ashes and silence. No one would have been left to relate their deeds. In the face of what I know now, one could almost name it an act of kindness, for what came with them was much worse than everything you could imagine in your darkest nightmares. Even a thousand Tagrams, the strongest of the southern trolls, could not lever up the open gates of Nandu. 
But Rogash used an artifice to send the shadows forth from the Tempest Valley to Eboria's east, whereupon every second beard had to leave the Great Gates in order to overcome their eastbound onslaught. The shadows and the creatures living in them spread like a plague. So quickly the Guardians were ready for battle, long before the Talgrund fire burned. All with their black oaken shield and their hammer to their right, braced to prove their courage, to honor their oath, to protect what they hold dear. Sindran the Nimble was been devoured first by the shadows. Nothing of him remained. Carduin and Dorvarun, the eldest sons of Tarin, fought their way side by side to the eighth of the Talgrand Towers and were able, with their last might, to ignite its fire. Thanks are due to them that the shadow could be repressed, at least for a short time. Grigorim, the tree, the strongest of the hundred, fought at the northeastern incline of the Nimbo Mountains at foremost front. He took five Yuturi with him, pierced by their spears, before he had breathed his last. All of them fought bitterly, but not even their courage could oppose the enemy's unadulterated majority. One after the other fell. Ninety-nine at the number. My name is Tilgrim, son of Talon, and I am the Great Gate's last guardian. May my words protect those who read them from what is about to come. May my words be my legacy, the one of my brothers, and the guardians of Nangrim. <laughs>